cars, trucks. For over a century, man has used the automobile not only as a means of conveyance, but as a reflection of personal style. At Bennett Classics Museum, they display their collection of cars and trucks as the works of art that they are. You'll see everything from a Jack Roush Mustang that he personally owned himself to a 1917 Rio truck that was at the bottom of a lake for over 45 years. Hey, Carl, how, hey, are, you? how are you? You must be Christy. I'm Christy. Oh, this is great. I've heard so much about this place. Kind of give me a little bit of the history. Well, Bennett Classics started uh -huh. around seven years ago. Okay. The owners are brothers, Buddy okay. and Joe Bennett. Okay. They are from Burnsville, North Carolina. All right. So in the late 60s, they moved here to Forest City. They both started businesses, uh -huh. and they started collecting cars on the side. Okay. So they would get something here and there, uh -huh. put them up, forget about them, and they just kind of kept doing that. And what this building here, what is this? Well, the house here was built in the 1890s okay. by a doctor in the Concord community about five minutes from here. They tore this house down, and they built it up in here. This so, is the so house. So this, what I just walked through, this is actually this house? Yes. Reconstructed here? Yes. Wow, They took all the amazing. wood, the windows, the door, uh -huh. the rooftop, took the staircase out of it, put it in one of the offices. Okay. We'll so it's a part of history then? Yes. Not just the cars. Right. But there are a lot of cars in here. How many cars are in here all together, Christy? We keep around 70 in here most of the time. Uh-huh. So, so when you say most of the time, do they rotate out? They do. They okay. will sell something, buy something else, bring it in, and just okay. kind of keep it changed up all the time. So you never know what's going to be in here, so that means you got to come back. Okay, great. Wow, a 1913 Model T Roaster, Christy. Is this original? It is. Is that the case with a lot of the cars here? It is. A lot of them are unrestored uh -huh. originals with very low mileage. So that makes it... A little bit of a better experience, yes. doesn't it? If, if they've got low mileage and look as good as this, I mean, to be unrestored, that's an amazing looking car. Well, this certainly is a car that uh, is, it looks familiar. Well, um, we call it the Barney car. Okay. <laughs> and everybody loves it, uh -huh. of course. Was it actually the, driven in the show? We're not quite sure okay. on that. Um, we don't have any documentation, but we were told that it was. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. They say it was. <laughs> the wide variety of cars on hand at Bennett Classics is really impressive, but there are no slouches when it comes to trucks either. Good, Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're, you're the truck man. I'm the truck man, yes. Is there a little bit of this that takes you back to your childhood? Very much, yeah. yes it is. That's where it started. Yeah? Yeah. How, um, how did it start? We uh, got us an old A model or two when yeah. we was well, eight or ten years old, but twelve I was probably, and we messed with it around there on the farm and stuff. Uh -huh. and we enjoyed that, and then from that we got another one. Well, you go to a big effort to make sure you get things restored. Exactly right. right. I do, very much. The, this is a 1962 H model Mac. They came into being about in the late 50s. Uh -huh. Mack trucks engineered that that truck could have a sleeper on it. So it made it a whole lot easier for a driver. Well, right. They could could get back there. It's a very small sleeper. They run double a whole lot and that, that come into a bed stretch out part the time. Yeah. I guess one of the things that I'm seeing here, once again, is the the examples, the cars that are here, just in really good shape. Yes. So people are able to get a feel for some of our very early cars and some of our classic cars. Yes. What are the ages that it has to be from classic to vintage? Do you know those ages? Like how old does it have to be? I think it has to be 25 years or older. Okay. But he certainly knows his trucks, but his brother Joe is just as knowledgeable when it comes to the cars in their collection. Talking with your brother, he was telling me that he's the he's the truck guy and, and you love the cars. He said yeah. he likes them too, but he said you really like them. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. I started fooling with Model H when I was eight or nine years old. I got my first car, which was a wrecked 47 Plymouth, when I was 12 years old. Wow, wow. So you got a history with cars. Yeah. <laughs> this is a car that was in the movie Leatherheads. So this taxi? Yes. We found it just the way it is, and we're going to leave it that way. Yeah. So where did you find this taxi at? A year in the county. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. it was underneath the shed. Wow. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> but you found it. <laughs> <laughs> found this is the Jack Roush Mustang. It's on loan here from Keter Ford. Okay. And it was one of his personal vehicles. 
Okay. And it was really signed by Jack Roush. His signature on a car means a lot, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yes. Everybody wants to see that signature. Yeah. It's not just a car, but it's a history store. Every car is different. I've yeah. come to realize that. What have you got over here? The 1917 Rio truck was found in the bottom of Lake Lure. Uh, Mr. Ledbetter, he was uh -huh. an apple farmer. And he hauled apples back and forth to Hendersonville and back. Then Lake Lure was known as Buffalo, North Carolina. One night they were coming back, the lights went out, mm. and they wrecked. When he came back to get the truck, it had been raining for a couple of days and kind of flooded itself, and that's how it ended up under the lake. Oh. And it stayed under there for 45 years. Wow. Yes, he had five sons, and they decided wow. that they were gonna get it out. They pulled it up with a man-made thing with mm -hmm. barrels and stuff. They got it up, then they restored the truck. That's the original motor that was in it and the whole thing. Take it around to schools and let children ride something. Oh, so it still runs there? It'll run. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. You'd think it would have deteriorated completely, but it didn't. Yeah. It's not salt water, so it came out real good. Well, that's certainly a big piece of history. So that's probably one of the more interesting pieces that you... Yeah, and one know. of the oldest. Yeah, yeah, right, great. That's what you do as, as boys, and, and now you get to do it and, uh, and share it with a lot of people. That's right. That's yeah. the main thing. That's what we built this thing yeah. for. Yeah. We love it, and we want other people to come and enjoy it. Part of our logo up here is Wheels of Time. Most adults would say, my grandfather had a car like this. My uncle had a car like this. We take them back in history. It's a nice little trip back for them.